Hi, I'm Casey from G Free Foodie, and I'm going to show you how to make an incredibly delicious and really easy mixed berry crumble using Char's gluten free honey grams. You're going to love it. First, I've got a pint maybe a little more of blueberries and I've taken some fresh strawberries and hold and clean them. You can use whatever kind of berries you want to use. You also need to taste your berries and if they aren't really sweet, if you're not in the prime of summer, maybe throw like two teaspoons of sugar in here. Then I'm going to take some tapioca starch. You could use cornstarch if you want to but I just think tapioca tastes cleaner. And the juice of half of an orange and the zest of that whole orange. No white, so we don't want any of the orange pith, just the zest. And we're gonna mix this all together and to get it fully incorporated. And you wanna make sure that all the sliced sides of the strawberries have been touched by the mix. As the berries start to give off their juice, that tapioca starch is gonna help that all gel together and it's gonna be delish. Totally easy. Now, I'm just gonna take this berry mixture and put it into ramekins that I've sprayed with a little bit of pan spray or you could use coconut oil if you wanted to. Um, if you have the taller ramekins, that will work too, just as well. So you just want like a 10 ounce ramekin. Okay, now, if you didn't already, you wanna preheat the oven to 350, and I've got the same bowl that I mixed the berries in. You'll see there's a little bit of the orange juice with the tapioca starch and the rind left in here. That's cool, that's what we want. So I've taken the Char honey grams and I beat them up. You can work out your kitchen aggression doing that. There's eight, you want eight or nine crackers. And then I've added, I have some chopped pecans. If you don't want to use nuts, that's totally cool. Or if you want to use pumpkin seeds, that will work as well. Then I'm going to take the juice of the other half of the orange. And this is some coconut oil. You could use butter if you want to. I actually like the flavor of coconut oil in this and it makes it dairy free. And we're just going to mix that all together and try to get in those little bits of orange. This is gonna become the topping for our crumble. And then I'm just gonna space the crumble topping evenly among each of the dishes. So easy. These are going into a 350 degree oven for 30 to 35 minutes. You want the crumble topping to start to brown and the fruit to get all bubbly and delicious. Okay, the berry crumble is out of the oven and it's cooled, of course, so I can pick it up. This is amazing with whipped cream or a little bit of vanilla bean ice cream. Can't wait to try it. So delicious. This is the other way to eat graham crackers. The first way being s'mores, of course. See you later, cheap food foodies. <laughs>